We talking about Lady Gaga renting that place out? Yeah. All right. Hey, I like it when things kind of roll in with conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the thing. So as we've been rolling in, uh, you might have noticed that you're now part of the Greasy Conversation Talk Show. Let me show you. You. All right, welcome. Greasy Conversation, the talk show. It's here uh, in front of a less than a live studio audience. You know, who knows how old the audience audio is? It might be like literally all people that have passed away by this oh, point. Oh, man, that's... You're being cheered on by ghosts. Yeah, that might that's be That's like, an interesting layer. I yeah. hadn't considered that. Because there's been that high fidelity of audio for so long in history that we could be listening to like crowd sounds of like ghosts. Yeah. Like can't, can't laughter is all like moved on and passed. Yeah. Time. Right. Did you guys ever hear the, the legend of this box that um, was part of the, the, the tradition we perceive as like the, the canned laughter, canned applause thing? It was like uh, you turn this crank on this box and this uh, sound engineer was legendary for owning it and renting it himself and it for things like all of the laugh tracks and the Flintstones for a lot of uh, all the sitcoms in that era I think yeah. the Lucille Ball show right. used the same so like can, probably like a pioneering full yeah. artist in like the original you know? days mm. of TV uh, one of the first like sound engineers for television right and yeah so the fun fact I don't have any of the details I would on that, totally watch it. a documentary cool about that kind of stuff yeah, I would love super to see stuff like that. You know, like like um, legends in in history. You know, like, I don't care about directors or actors or you know whatever bimbo they had hopped up on meds. Stay tuned. We have a documentary <laughs> series yeah. starting. But like, but like the the crew and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. The, the backing crew, like the people who painted Tin Man and gave him cancer. Foley legends of history. The Foley legends of history. That um, hanging dude in the background on the Wizard of Oz mm -hmm. looks really legit. On the, uh, mm -hmm. on the the VHS. Right, right. It's uh, oh, the people were hanging each every, <laughs> people were hanging themselves all the time around that era. <laughs> Wasn't that filmed during the Depression? Yeah, it was just like a hip thing to do. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Not yeah. that we recommend it. <laughs> right. It's not cool anymore. Okay. I'm surprised on the he Golden Road they didn't run across a bunch of Okies camping out. <laughs> right. He just couldn't take the take the movie anymore. He was like, <laughs> "Fuck this." <laughs> He's like, "Fuck that little dog." <laughs> Those dogs have been terrorizing me since day one. <laughs> He's afraid of lions. <laughs> there should be like a like a free bus pass if you're suicidal, like to just get out of town, to oh, start man, over, yeah. right? Yeah. Like get some fresh air outside this place a minute. Right. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Have a nice drive. I can get behind that. Yeah. I don't know. With the world over populated, maybe the only stop should be like by a by a very large cliff. <laughs> yeah, it's don't not not like one of those by the cliff train tracks. <laughs> anyway, we've got our dude, New York Josh. We're you, totally doing a show. You're in it. You're you're part yeah, of it right now. Backed by absolutely no demand. <laughs> We're also taking turns wearing a wig provided by Ange Kerfoot. That's part of the fun, too. That's a fun layer. You can play along yourself by sending us pictures of yourself wearing a wig. Yeah. So why not? Any yeah. kind of crowd interaction, right? I think, it's, I think that's a fun thing to ask. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Comment. See, see who can make look more like Phil Spector whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> Phil Spector competition. Well, is that, you, know, you, just got, you can't have a gun in the picture. That's all it is. <laughs> it's got to be Phil Spector, not with the ubiquitous 44 Magnum he always had. Yeah, it's Phil, it's like Super Soaker Specter. <laughs> <laughs> he super soaked that one girl. Oh. And he threatened to super soak every one of the Beatles. Ay ay ay. Yeah, he was he was he was a dastardly dude back in the day. Yeah, there's like, so he many would legends. Sit there and it just like you know threaten people. I think he had he pulled a gun on Metallica. Yeah. Of all bands to pull a gun <laughs> on, you know what I mean? He's, the Ramones too. The Ramones oh, gun the Ramones. story is really funny. <laughs> I don't yeah. I mean, you know how many times Dee Dee had a gun pulled on him and it's like <laughs> that dude used to like be a male prostitute for heroin in the freaking man. Oh Jesus. Like Dee Dee Ramon for real. He was a gross guy. And I mean I'm sure that guy had a lot, a lot of guns pulled on him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean literally, not the figurative. So if you're an aspiring musician, 
These are the things you can look forward to. <laughs> yes, yeah, just drop we'll out of school, kids. Yeah. <laughs> you might have to whore for heroin. That's okay. I'm That's sure, what you need to do. I'm sure, I'm sure for heroin at some point you do have to whore. <laughs> That's the new side of me, just like super loving and supportive for <laughs> yeah. ridiculous things. <laughs> like, if you're going to steal a car, just make sure you're safe. You At least gloves. bring it back. Bring, yeah. bring it back when you're done. Leave it somewhere safe when you're done. Don't <laughs> mess up any traffic. Leave a note. <laughs> For God's sakes, wear clean underwear. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's a move. Like dirty underwear, car theft. Like has gotten people in trouble. Like we Just... identified a scent. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Both of them had corn. Dun dun. Oh man, you're about to so. Here we go. You're about to learn so hard on this episode. We're already teaching you valuable life. Uh, details. Oh yeah. So I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's a lesson in this one somewhere. You got one building. Hold on. It's the submarine of knowledge uh, coming your way. Okay. Yeah. Now this this isn't the first time it's happened, but dude was uh you know just puffing on his e-cigarette, and it exploded in his face, and a piece of it got lodged in his uh neck, and it cut his carotid artery, and uh, he had a stroke. And he died. Yeah, that's a lot to go wrong with an e-cigarette. Yeah. It's still one more than marijuana. <laughs> yeah. <Right? laughs> that's like the, the second Good or point. third one. E-cigarette one, marijuana still zero. Right. But Man. Wow, really? Yeah. That's a lot of... Uh, yeah, it's pretty gnarly. Was the Mossad involved? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, yeah. Yet, yet another thing that makes me want to continue to smoke two parts and have lung cancer. <laughs> just like regular, yeah, yeah. Oh man, no. You vape, bro. Just, just throw your vape, vape batteries bro. away and use batteries from Samsung. Get that Galaxy S <laughs> vape box. That's, that's totally. Just so when it explodes, it just takes your head clean off. <laughs> yeah. You're just you ain't got to worry about. It's no suffering, you know. You go out <laughs> doing the thing you loved, which is <laughs> sucking down on some vape. Sucking down on some vape. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, that, but I'm like paranoid now just from uh, smoking weed out of a vape pen. I'm like, oh shit, is, is this going to be the, is this going to be the one? This had to be one of those it. big boxes though. This had to be one of those juice box situations. There's no way like a single cell. Just a little style. tiny battery. Yeah. Right. Like, no. a, like, a, like a blue or something like that yeah. or disposable. There's just the people not get energy density. Yeah. People get those like custom ones where they're like the bricks. They, yeah. they right. want to like, they're in those I'm things, <laughs> those things are made in like these dirt villages. They're they're not, they're not like the Shenzhen special. This is like yeah, the down by the river. This guy bought all the parts from this other shady Chinese factory to then make them in another shady Chinese factory. Like some of this stuff has no quality control. You get on like Alibaba. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Like, Oh Jesus, I would buy anything off Alibaba. <laughs> or even Amazon is doing terrible with any kind of. Mm. Um, maintaining reputations with their vendors, any any charlatan can get a store on Amazon and not have to deal with even the rating system that eBay has, yeah. leading to tons of returns. And then that controversy Amazon is having, where they're banning people from returning products too much. Meanwhile, these are people that are just like, uh, you know, um, trusting enough to purchase stuff from Amazon and, and take a risk on this mm. stuff that's for sale there that's mm. cheapo and needs to be returned. Yeah. Oh. They're oh, not following the patterns, fuck Amazon, right? Amazon, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you've that's had a lot of bad deliveries. Yeah, they owe it, man. They're like, <laughs> they're they're so weird. Like, they'll just leave shit on your porch, was it? But, like, I lived in a, in a second-story apartment one time mm. and I ordered something. Yeah. And I was like, look, this, this fucking thing never came, whatever. And then I had a balcony, you know, but I never went on it because it was tiny and I just right. pushed it on there. And then, like, Two or three months later, I just finally go out on the balcony for some reason, look down. Motherfucking package has been sitting there the whole time. Right just, on. They threw it, but he chucked it up uh, on my balcony. Like, what? That is what, ridiculous. What yeah. driver's going to do that? Just uh, like, oh, dude's not home. Uh, Let me just throw it up on this balcony. Uh, I think is the right one. Right. You know. Well, would you buy Trump steaks? Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> they were bad, but that actually made them better. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Though. You guys, say what you want to about the man, but don't disrespect the meat. <laughs> Trump steaks, you guys. Look us, look aside, and just appreciate like, when those those cows are, are put in that in that gold gilded cages. You've got that 
that Trumpy flavor, you know? Yeah. Where you think it's one thing, it tastes like another thing later. And <laughs> Always some, well done. <laughs> some, some like it medium rare. I like mine orange. <laughs> Trump steaks. Yeah. Super well done. Brazen it till it's orange. Covered in ketchup. <laughs> Trump steaks. Totally. <laughs> oh, man. It goes really great with foreign things as long as it doesn't, it's not like a wear. You have to like sneak it. I don't know where I'm going with this. Yeah. <laughs> Mueller knows. I Trump kinda... steaks. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Has lots of immigrant family, yet no more immigrants. Just my family only. I don't know what, it's nothing to do with the steak. I'm just getting all bitter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So here's, here's some uh, exciting news from some forward thinking a forward thinking state denver is looking to decriminalize our good friends uh psilocybin cubensis yeah Mm. the magic mushroom yeah this is part of breakthrough uh addiction recovery and post-traumatic stress studies that have gone beyond just putting people in the k-hole with ketamine to some of these things that have been used for this as long as there's been written language with human beings. So, I mean, we also use, uh, well, there's so many things we've been using since that time, like chili peppers, borax. There's like, why, why throw away one thing that gets a job done? Also, extremely high LD50. So you have to have like a garbage bag of them to get a lethal dose. Oh, yeah. If, if a lethal, lethal dose has even been confirmed to occur with some Yeah, in humans. Yeah, I don't know if it has. Now, it's just like with weed, it's dangerous for people with a pre-existing mental thing. Like if you already have a tenuous grasp on reality right. through some form of schizophrenia, for example, <laughs> it's not a good move. Right. But it can, just like acid, with re- reveal like a latent thing mm-hmm. that a lot of people have said, okay, this causes it in some people. But no, these are people that are probably predisposed yeah, anyway. it's, it's not a cause and effect it's it's food poisoning yeah it's so uh, it's 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 an altered sense of what signals are going through your brain and how your brain is processing them and people confusing correlation with causation mm. like okay the bad trips so mm. to speak mm. correlate with right. people with a certain predisposition right. doesn't mean maybe, that it's causing that right. disposition maybe, maybe that person has anxiety anyway you know what i mean yeah anxiety attack. yeah so, or you know. flavors of paranoia because mm-hmm. there's clinical paranoia where you uh, your perception is that there are these things out to get you mm-hmm. or out to help you that aren't there to help you right right and um yeah and it, you that's reality to you that's not something that mm-hmm. you can just yeah, like, talk mean, it, someone out it, of and it has been like shown to be helpful in mm-hmm. like helping people with through difficulties like you're saying ptsd yeah um addiction problems like mm-hmm. couples therapy all kinds of shit man um you know, done done right though, and with like you know. Yeah, you always got to do it with uh, a buddy. Yeah, a guide of some kind. Yeah, right. or if it's like in a clinical setting for like therapy uh, purposes. A clinical or setting? I no 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 no. <laughs> The I'll last thing I'd want to do is sit in an office. Like, Look at me, Waz. Oh no, they give you a fun room. <laughs> they put they put you in the fun room. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I'm not yeah. good that, at this no. Break time. No, I, I like it. I like it. I, you guys it tune in and comment on Twitch or YouTube. <laughs> just go to waz.lol to find the link to either. Just search Greasy Conversation, mm. and be sure and remember that you're listening on Radio Vegas. Yeah. Rocks, and yeah. that's the, Sorry, the buzzword for your sponsors. That I'm, you know, I'm talking about our sponsors, but they're your sponsors too, folks. So the sponsors I want to mention. Mention RadioVegas.rocks and they'll give you stuff. Especially if you're wearing a wig. There's a wig special. They're just made up now. Just let them know. Let Naked City Pizza know that your hair is a wig and ask them to pull on it. And while you're doing that, mention RadioVegas.rocks and you'll get at least 10% off. Maybe more with this little stunt, right? Yeah. Naked yeah, sure. City Pizza. There's a new one at the El Cortez. Anyhow. And it's All right. I do want to just one quote from this article that is uh, because of course you know not everyone's keen with the idea of decriminalizing drugs especially Mm -hmm. things they think are scary and don't understand (laughs) so the uh, this director of a conservative Christian think tank says Denver is quickly becoming the illicit drug capital of the world wow 
That's impressive. The entire world. The world. The it, world. It's not because weed's legal there. It's because everyone has more money because of mm. weed being legal. Mm. <laughs> That's the thing. California mm. was a capital, and California's like had a ton of money and bored people. <laughs> Florida, yeah. places where like rich people uh, conglom up. That's like, you know, they've got they've got these bored kids. Yeah, with all their all their fat pocket. Yeah, and they're like trust fund pockets. They're uh, Gatsby parties. Yeah, except well. except for instead of just like endless alcohol, it's just like endless cocaine now. Yeah, because like you mix the two together and you can have more of both until you suddenly die. Yeah. <laughs> Word of advice. Totally Let's do learning. it. <laughs> Party in. Speaking of partying, no, this is terrible. This is a terrible segue to this story, this. but oh, I'm no. going to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. Speaking of partying... <laughs> I'm going to hell. Oh no. I don't even know. <laughs> Police say a toddler is lucky to be alive after chewing on heroin baggies. He found in in you know his his mother's house. Ain't obviously. nothing like a gangster's party. <laughs> right? This kid's going to be tough though. This kid's going to be a law enforcement professional. It's just going to be able to sniff out heroin baggies like a bloodhound. Oh, yeah. just like I was like, damn, this kid party's hard. I'm pretty That's impressed. That is impressive. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, just a 16-month-old 16, 16 boy, man. Mm. And uh, mom was, of course, nodded out. And uh, dad found him, like, unconscious. Luckily, they were, like, really wow. close to the hospital and could meanwhile, get emergency La- help. Meanwhile, in Los Angeles, Nikki Six, Nikki Six just stood up and did a slow clap. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. impressive. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Just like, uh, it's, it just sucks, man. Like, just how crazy heroin is is getting, or just like opiates. Not always heroin. It's like fentanyl now and all that stuff. Like, and it just seems yeah, to keep cr- getting it, worse. It's, it's great. I mean, no, no, no. it's great. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> There's a reason people do it. Oh no, I yo no trust me. Yeah, I know. It's it's something you should stay away from. Yeah, you know. And and all my best to Artie Lang right now and all the people struggling, but like awareness, know. we're totally building awareness. Yeah. So when you hear us making fun of something, um, like we're sarcastic people, we just want you to be aware. So <laughs> turn down that that. Uh, well, I'm not recommending it. No. No, no. I'm saying no. your 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 lawsuit eyes. Put some sunglasses on that lawsuit eye, <laughs> because. Uh, we don't advocate. It's just whatever you think is bad, pretend if we're talking about it, we're not advocating it. Unless it's psilocybin mushrooms, which we absolutely advocate in almost every case. Yeah. But, of course, do your damn research and yeah. don't just do shit all willy-nilly. On literally everything right. we bring up. Do it, yeah. Willie, do it on Willie Nelson. <laughs> Willie yeah. Nelson. If you do it now, you know, if I drop mushrooms on Willie Nelson, <laughs> don't do it. just don't do it willy-nilly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Nelly? Are we talking about Nelly now? Yeah. <laughs> really? oh my is God. it getting hot in here? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes it is now, speaking of hot in here though I mean I think I'd be a pretty I think I'd be a beautiful grandmother <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm not saying I look like a pretty lady my age but I mean look, I think look like, I look like a pretty older lady <laughs> Thank you, right? let's, look at the smile let's, let's, Tina, Tina from Bob's Burgers. I look so much <laughs> like Tina from Bob's Burgers. Yo, damn. Butts, butts. <laughs> oh, man. That is fucking great. <laughs> I can't take it. So. I love it. I look like Tina mixed with, like, one of those, like, early 2000s straight edge bands. <laughs> Like Karen O going to <laughs> like Karen O going to Bible uh, Bible reading at eight man. Oh, you damn right! I look like no, Karen O. No makeup, huh? Don't don't talk to me about Karen O. Heads will roll. <laughs> <laughs> what right. did I? So oh, where'd it go? There we go. Oh, here we go. Uh, Behold, uh, it's time for another uh, thing that's occurring. Uh, oh yeah, this this is a good one. Oh yeah, I love this one. All right. So this uh. This college, this this chick in college, uh, thought there was a ghost in her house. After, you know, she hears not in her house in her dorm room. After she hears rattling around at times, and then articles of her clothing start disappearing, 
And, you know, of course, the first thing you think is that it's a ghost because they're, they're totally real. They're around us all the time. And that's the most common occurrence of any sound in your house. <laughs> yeah. They provide, they provide our, our, you know, clips of applause and stuff. So, I mean, <laughs> right? Just, you got to, you know, ghost. They're enabling our th- multi-camera systems to work. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, turns out it wasn't a ghost, which I'm, man, I'm fucking shocked, honestly. Uh, this time, yeah, this time, the one time, it's not a ghost, <laughs> right? Turns out it was just some dude who snuck in a dorm room and hanging out in her closet for a while. That's right. And just like it's a chick in college, of course, with some other dude. No, but not like not like some dude she brought home. Oh, just some dude <laughs> like who Mr. wanted Mr. Farley from down the way. Did, did, yeah, was they caught by a bunch of kids, meddling kids? <laughs> <laughs> Right? Yeah, just, and he had, he had, uh, he had just kind of holed up in her closet and was chilling there and, uh, taking oh. all her clothes and wearing her clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a funny layer that I didn't realize was part of it. Yeah, well, mm. it gets better because she confronted him because nice. she, you know, I love that story. Goes she's on. like, who, you know, who's, who's in my closet? And you go, oh, I'm Drew. I'm hey. Drew, the closet clothes tester. <laughs> I'm the closet guy. <laughs> the closet guy. Don't worry, I'm not a ghost. <laughs> I just like it in closets. Hi, I, I am your roommate. <laughs> I just want to wear your clothes. Also, yeah. I'm Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I live in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> I live in the closet. <laughs> I wear your clothes. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. And uh, so she kind of confronted him, but was a little nervous and... uh. He, he, like, came out and wasn't really aggressive and started trying to tell her about his life story, I guess, and how he had it hard, and eventually, she was just distracting him while she was texting her boyfriend. Eventually, the boyfriend came over and uh, got him out. That's so, a cool move, just distract the fella. Yeah, because he wasn't aggressive, and, I mean, he, he kind of looks like whoever the chick was, no matter how big she was, she probably could have whooped his ass. Wow. I mean, that's just my impression of the dude, but, you know. That kid, so, that kid's oh, is there a him. picture? Yeah. Oh, that, that kid's gonna have fun and pop. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So, whoa. Sorry, that was loud. Something. So, ghost, ghost lady here. Get ready to see ghost, dude. Hold on. Oh, he has got the. That's not the one. No, wait. Wait. This is worth it. Okay. Get ready, you guys. <laughs> this one. Oh, where's the link? <laughs> Where's the link? Where's the link to the person that sleeps with the person's clothes that's not theirs? But like I was it went from a comedy to a suspense, right? But it's I was thinking, I'm like, you know, because we sh- we totally should have Ghostbusters, mm-hmm. like actual Ghostbusters, right? Mm-hmm. And then we should have like a version of Ghostbusters for people who think there are ghosts, but it turns out they're not. Well, like, you just have things marketed as Ghostbusters, and they just have, like, 100% ghost discovery rate, and they just yeah. discover natural causes for ghost time. It's like, oh, it's your heater. It's got this loose panel in it bangling around. Which was totally caused by a ghost. <laughs> Apple, Apple should just come out and they say they found a brand new ghost spray that will clear your house. And just put Windex in the bottle. <laughs> And sell it, and and within a year, nobody will believe in ghosts anymore because everybody will have their own. Ghost oh spray. man, that's brilliant! It'll be like the headphone jack. Apple just be like, we don't have ghosts anymore, just like <laughs> we don't have headphones. There's There's, no jacks anymore. There were never any headphone jacks. What are no, you guys talking about? These ghosts have been Bluetooth all along. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they need the ghost spray to, yeah. to, to capture oh, them. Man. I mean, brilliant. were there were there ghosts on this? Were, what? Show me one photograph of a ghost before the era of modern photography. Come on. <laughs> so. I have sketch. I have, there's like prehistoric sketches of ghosts, I'm sure. <laughs> or cave, cave, cave Fake. drawings of ghosts. Yeah, they're all over the Vatican. Fake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Ooh. I love it. Uh, Spicy. That hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie Jesus. He's coming back. Eventually. You know, if they thought, I would have thought if they would have wanted him to come back any sooner, they'd have nailed him to a boomerang. Right. (laughs) (laughs) 
the, the best part of that's the mental image of the extremely large boomerang <laughs> and like all the medieval engineering of like the sling to launch this a large like a, a boomerang catapult <laughs> <laughs> we celebrate to this day with these little like mm-hmm. gi joes on a boomerang <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that would be like a way better Christmas. Everyone has like a giant boomerang catapult. <laughs> just take it out in the street, launch your giant boomerangs, and <laughs> trash all the cars. Just yeah. <laughs> the only problem is they come back. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We just have to hope it hits your neighbor's car. It's not an exact science, you know. It's, you know, it's fucking it's boomerangs. It's a lot more. It's a lot more fun than the purge. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I could go. You know, I could go for a little purge. I think maybe just once. We should just we should just try it out, you know. Just one day. It's it's one day. What's the worst that can happen, you know? Do, so, I'm curious. Who do you think would have the bigger crowd chasing them that day? Ryan Seacrest. Oh, you think Ryan Seacrest would get purged, man? He'd be chased in. How many? That guy's would, got. How the, many people would want to kill him, dude? Yeah, but you know that guy's got, like, an inner demon. You know he'd have, like, He's that like curly white smile. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking AK in each hand. And he's... Just picture Seacrest out. I mean, like, out there. Oh, just that like, would be such a great B-movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Found Eyes makeup. like dinner plates. Oh, yeah. I think we, I think we just wrote a B-movie. Oh, yeah, we did. It's already greenlit. Yeah, Seacrest <laughs> would go nuts under pressure. Does he'd he be, like, the new president. Oh, he my would, God. <laughs> oh man, he'd be he'd be like first in line for the purge, I think. Yeah, like all his Ooh. pent up stuff. Because you know people have been telling him garbage forever, and he's still hosting these family friendly things, all just like sloughing it off. Just he's the hardest get... working man in the world. Been hosting. <laughs> Seriously, he's he's well. <laughs> he's I mean, no coal miner. Well, well, I mean, it's not like freaking president has to get out there and shovel shit. You know what yeah. I mean? But he shout out works, to the coal miners. He works. Shout out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just derailing your point with silliness. Big up the wheeling, yo. (laughs) What's your jade for days? (laughs) Big up. Uh, (laughs) Shenandoah River. (laughs) Man. um, Clean coal, you guys. Clean coal. I'm talking about clean coal, so it's okay. Yeah. (laughs) Jeez. But seriously, though, the guy has to be up at like four in the morning. To drive to his morning radio show because he does morning radio oh, yeah. in LA. And he's, he runs like 12 to 14 shows on the E Network. Jesus. He's He hosts like afternoon radio or, or top 40 radio in LA. And then I think he does like his television shit at, at stuff at night. Damn. I didn't I know mean, he did that much. He's a hard shit. working man. Yeah. Damn, he he deserve. We should we should all just do the purge for Ryan Seacrest. He deserves it. <laughs> In his honor, like Let's yeah, blame it's him. for you, Ryan. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty much just looking for any excuse. See, but, right you know. there, I'm telling you, that went from a B movie to an A movie. In my oh mind. yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> I'm loving it. I mean, you know, I it can't be that bad. Like a saving instead of a uh, saving Silverman, it's it's whacking, <laughs> whacking freaking Seacrest. <laughs> Seacrest out. It's, you get, yeah, it's the greatest name for that movie ever. <laughs> it's got to be like the end line after the, he's just like standing atop a mound of bodies. <laughs> it's like War Zeve style. Yeah, he's yeah. got like a punch, punch line already. Like a what do you think? Just like Army of Darkness phrase. style. He has yeah. like he he like lost. He has the whole ash from Army of Darkness with the chainsaw <laughs> hand and like the shotgun. He's just t- like on a, on a pile of bodies. <laughs> Seacrest out. That smile, though. Yeah, it smiles. Yeah, while well, still smiling. Yeah, you never stop smiling the whole movie. The hair's never must, man. Absolutely yeah. no. No. I love it. <laughs> What's great about this is, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but his eyes have always, he's always done like an eyebrows down thing. Like there's always been like a bit of seriousness there, like a bit of intensity. Well, Anderson Cooper's got that too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what, what I'm talking about. Is yeah. like whatever the rest of the expression is, right. the eyes are freaking determined. Right, right. Like someone's pushing through the darkness. Well, both of them came up with like more money than God. 
<laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, seriously, like Anderson Cooper's a Vanderbilt, dude. Like, yeah, yeah. Of, you know? So, like, both of them have just money. They never had to work a day in their lives. They're doing that for passion. Yeah. But, like, I want to be a journalist. That pressure I don't even delicious. know what you would call Seacrest other than a host. You're right. But, you but, know, you got to love hosting. Yeah. I got that host passion. You got that host passion. Yeah, and I can't stop twirling my locks right here. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, makes you grab at it. It does. Lawn hair is... up, host passion. <laughs> Dude, the creep... That's the creepiest thing I've yeah. ever seen in my life. <laughs> can I be, like, a southern grandma? You certainly can. <laughs> you can be whatever you want to be. You can just go around offering sweet tea to all the little... <laughs> all the cute little grandchildren. Oh, behave. <laughs> Y'all want some sweet tea? Bless his heart. So on that note... Got nothing to segue for that. Um, Behold... Uh, Seacrest Master of the Purge! <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. Seacrest Master of the Purge! <laughs> nice. Stay tuned. I love it. I love it. Alright. Alright. Wait, what's going on? What happened? What's going on? Find out! <laughs> Speaking of what's going on. Did it's you so see? intense. Did you see that they are finally going to release Marvin Gaye's album that came on after that? What happened really? like, with it? What's Going On was the last album that Marvin Gaye ever released back in the 70s before he was shot and killed by his father. And uh, he actually recorded one after that, and Motown put a nix to it because they said it was too politically motivated. Oh, I, I think I did hear something about that. Not and it's too many now details, released. But... They're going to release it. They're going to oh, yeah? release it on vinyl. Wow. Yeah, I'm wicked, wicked, wicked happy to hear about it. I want to see it. But I'm final, too. See it. I want to see it. I want to hear it. That means I'll never listen to it. Because <laughs> it'll never be anywhere else in any other right. form. It means, yeah, like, five a... people downtown are going to hear it. Just <laughs> vinyl. It's, like, protected, right. so you can't. Yeah. I'll have to go to Odd Fellows for, a, like, it's months. In, it's encoded. <laughs> Doesn't even play on record players. <laughs> That's the blank record. More people have heard that Wu-Tang album. <laughs> Oh, man. What if he just had access to Martin Scrawley's Wu-Tang album and released it as the new Marvin Gaye album and no one knew? No one knew. Oh. Just like, man, Marvin Gaye got hard. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how, many vo- how many voices is he doing, man? That's like, right. damn. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of that. Oh man, I'm from like, Staten Island, dude. <laughs> like, yo, Marvin Gaye. Damn, Marvin Gaye go hard. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> I didn't know Marvin Gaye lived in Stapleton. <laughs> Damn, Marvin Gaye knew some people I knew. Right. His beats, though. <laughs> that, that beats, though. <laughs> that beats, though. Oh shit! Oh, that's hilarious. Um. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. That that would be... I wonder how they're going to... They, I remember reading a book about that whole album and the idea from it. And I'm surprised that it hasn't been leaked yet after Scarelli went to I jail. I know. With this internet? I'm how surprised. Did, man. He probably put it in a vault, that fucking skeezer. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised the band didn't release it. Just Didn't the government confiscate it from him, too? I, oh, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's bound to be leaked sooner or later with the gov right. on top of it. I don't yeah, know. That, that means Obama has it. No. Oh. <laughs> no. That's it. Obama's got it. Obama. <laughs> Damn you, Obama. Right. Thanks, rocking, Obama. Rocking out those sick beats. Oh, I'm trying to think. Of, like, we got to give it to the WikiLeaks dude. We got to give it to old gray hair. Um, Assange. Julian Assange. Assange. Julian Assange. <laughs> Assange Tang. Now I'm just combining stuff. Sorry. Like, I like Swedish women. Oh God, what? <laughs> Julian Assange. Oh man! All right, I got a quick one before uh, our first little intermission. Oh shoot! Thanks for keeping an eye. I almost missed it. Yeah. So real quick, this is actually local news. Uh, this this dude who owns a uh, online gaming development company was busted by the sec for gambling away part of his investors money misappropriated at least 1.3 million uh including four hundred and four thousand dollars on gambling sprees and five hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars for personal credit card bills 
What? I mean, it's a gaming company. How in the fuck do you get 579 thousand in personal credit card bills? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I mean, you have in a year. Them. I'll show you. What's <laughs> that movie? Brewster's Millions. I was like, that's such a joke. I could totally do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to the the high roller table. I could REI. <laughs> Play music, musicians guitar guitar center. Yeah, I can right. do that in RB. Um, I it's I, people. It, it's it's really sad because you get people who put their life savings into these things, and between that and the the um oh, what's the name of that guy He's in the 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 triangle schemes and stuff like that. that I was gonna like, say BitConnect. Mm-hmm. The, oh. the BitConnect. Yeah, look at that. Everybody was all on the Bit cryptocurrency. Connect. Yeah, Every, yeah. On the cryptocurrency. Oh, is that the one? Like that. Is that the one where the dude? The only dude who had the password. Yeah, the president of the company. He had the password and for he the died. Vaults, and he died. Yeah. <laughs> and so there's people like with 130 million dollars in cryptocurrency. They're like, uh, they can't get. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. From one old dead dude's password. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, y'all better start thinking. Like, what the fuck was the name of his cat? Shit. Right. Isn't there oh, something like? Man. Isn't there like a committee of five people that actually have the keys to the internet? There's oh, no keys like that. to the internet. We can just make our internet for this neighborhood. It's a protocol. It's like having keys to a language. Well, understandable, but they can reset it. I mean, you could reset the part that you have control over, but so much of the internet's privately oh. owned. Say, like the yeah. Switch yeah. complex in Las Vegas. Right, understandable. I understand you might, that. You could, you're talking you could hardware, reset though. that complex. Right. But I mean, I don't uh, know. a lot of viruses have tried mm, to, to weasel mm. in there and. and right. Get rid of some stuff. But hey, hard backups, you guys. Have a room in your house that's full of tapes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how our medical records work. Just yeah. like tape drive galore. It's crazy. Can't go wrong with the classics. <laughs> I love how everybody's like, ooh, we're paperless. No, you're not. I'm sorry, I work in this. I hate paper. Yeah, forget paper, you guys. That's that paper drama footsteps. That was just not a thought out interstitial at all. <laughs> I was going to just let you guys learn with me and my shame. Mm. Oh, hey, I almost forgot, you guys. It's time for commercial, commercial chug. chug. It's always Dun-dun. good watching Kim shove meat in that hole. But Jesse Ray's doesn't shove it down your throat, though. I shove it down my throat. Because once that meat touches your lips, <laughs> you'll be begging for more. So visit them, Jesse Ray's, 5611 South Valley View on the corner of Valley View and Russell. Some amazing, reasonably priced barbecue that's delicious. One best barbecue sauce last year. And again. And again this year. Make sure to check them out. It's ridiculously convenient and even more ridiculously delicious. If you're in Vegas, <laughs> you go to Jesse Ray's Barbecue. Their corn is absolutely amazing. I'm a fan of corn anyways. So visit them, Jesse Ray's, 5611 South Valley View. Mention Radio Vegas. That rocks. Get 10% off everybody and uh they also do catering <laughs> that sounds amazing it's good it's good i've tasted it jesse ray's barbecue it's good mm. also i'm having a really good headphone situation right now these have been really durable we've been playing racquetball with them like as the ball we've been bouncing them off the wall we've been on uh i know i've stepped on mine and which it, it doesn't belong to me but it's been here at the station, and uh, I'm talking about these Kicker headphones. They're good. Kicker Audio. Living loud. I got to tell you, these are amazing headphones, so please go out and purchase Kicker. These things are sweet. My studio headphones are like 400 bucks, and they don't bleed. If you're a musician out there and you record your music, you don't want any kind of bleed at all because, you know, the music bleeds through. It comes through on the microphone, and if you're a singer, that kind of sucks. Kicker Audio. Living loud. That hair does not look feminine on you at all. (laughs) You look like a biker with good products. (laughs) The best products. (laughs) You guys, don't fast forward through the commercials. But if you did, welcome back. And ha ha, uh, Naked City Pizza, go there. It's in the El Cortez. It's really great. Uh, It's bomb. I'm a person that likes a good deli and uh, also can appreciate a good pizza and a good cold one. Well, one place that's got some great cold ones on tap and some fantastic pizza and other stuff because you can just smell it when you walk in the door. You're like, I'm home. 
is Naked City Pizza Shop. And there are two convenient locations for you. One on Arville Street. It's at 3240 South Arville inside Moondoggy's Bar. And the other one's Paradise, 4608 Paradise Boulevard. you got two to choose from. You walk in, the smells from the fresh dough, and they make their their own sausage, you know. So they get that pizza with, like, some, I think it's got dried tomatoes on it, sausage, pepper. I think it's got a few meats. And they've got incredible sandwiches, too, and salads. And uh, also, they're famous for their buffalo wings. They were even so famous for those, and I'm not talking about that because I'm telling you about the other stuff that was just so awesome. But I did have the wings, and they are freaking killer. And uh, they were featured on uh, diners, drive-ins, and dives. So uh, go check it out. Naked City Pizza, two locations, 3240 South Arville Street, and the other one on uh, 4608 Paradise Road. And also now in the Cortez with the pepperoni cups. Okay, so now you've officially met Naked City Pizza. So, and, okay, let's be thoughtful here. This one. Okay, it's time to return. Radio Vegas Rocks presents Greasy Conversation, the talk show. Uh. Yeah. Uh. We did it. <laughs> All right. So here's here, here's an interesting story. Uh, these scientists, I don't know if they just taught bees to do math or... From what I read, it looks like they discovered that individual bees are capable of doing arithmetic uh, all, like better than uh, d- dumb human kids. Hmm. About on the level of like medium smart human kids. <laughs> Like the like the basics, like right, the bees are, ticket all the time. All bees are just the Asian varieties. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> now the Asian ones just learn quicker, but the bees are doing math. <coughs> they're doing math. They're not even telling us about. Yeah, I don't know. It seems cool. It's a weird inter- uh, setup because, of course, you can't like show. Uh, I mean, bees numbers, obviously. Right. Oh, that would be. That would really be something. Right. What's um, the square root of this, bro? No. But somehow they're making, like, honey decisions? Yeah, well, the way, the way they had is uh, there's, like, a little a little box for the bees that's kind of shaped like a Y, and on the entrance there's uh, color-coded symbols. They're just squares. Yellow means to subtract one from this number, and blue means to add one to the number of squares, you know, or whatever. And then so the bee goes in the little box... And then there's two pathways they can go. One's wrong, one's right. If they get the right answer, they get some sweet sugar water. And if they get the wrong answer, they get some bitter ass club soda type stuff. Wow, so they were doing it for, for, for spoils. Like yeah, they, yeah. They had the reward system, basically. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and then they got the answers right about 65, 70% of the time. Right. Which is probably about on par with some some kids i guess now i have this on screen for our twitch and youtube viewers so they can play along at home you too can pretend to be a bee uh, wave your arms around don't knock any furniture over and uh take the test at home there's a decision chamber (laughs) entrance to the decision chamber (laughs) don't make the wrong one or you die like incorrect answer chamber Right. They need to do that for like in actual schools, you know, like yeah. send kids in there. And then like if you get wrong, just the giant fist like just knocks you out. <laughs> <laughs> just you're stupid. Boom. That sounds so German. It sounds like Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So I guess it has been done. OK, never mind. Uh, they should have like uh, the, 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 the opening trap door, though. Yeah, I so like that. Trap doors straight to straight to special ed. Yeah, man, we need more trap doors in our life. I think the world would be a better place with more trap doors. In the world would be a better place <laughs> if you could fall in a trap door suddenly. So, on that note, trap doors is our solution to all this B math. Yeah, bring I don't it know, back but to the B math. I wonder. I mean, eventually we're gonna have to, like, as, as humans come to the realization that like animals are smart and they they probably have some type of maybe not conscious thoughts but mm-hmm. i mean they run off there are some uh, you know some animals yeah. do i'm sure there are some and dolphins are very very intelligent yeah you know you think about a train a, a seen eye dog or or, or a emotional support dog um elephants feel emotion oh yeah totally you know and broccoli screams when you pick it yeah a lot of plants plants actually send out like vibrations yeah. to their roots Right. Like screams, screams? Yeah, it's just it's such a uh, it's such a low pitch that humans can't hear it. 
So like there's a there's a like a muscular vibration it does, or is it a release of a chemical that's a communication? No, I, I know plants roots. do that. Yeah. The roots like vibrate. Wow. Like a really low frequency, yeah. yeah to warn like other plants right. to like get their defense. That's why I love beans. <laughs> wow, like, you know. to use vibration mm. to do that when they already have like these chemical pathways to do it—that's mm. advanced. That's crazy. Yeah, right. secret plant. Well, that's secret why plant. I like to have my broccoli gassed first. <laughs> so you can get this uh, where you get—it's a cruelty-free broccoli. Mm -hmm. So it's grown in a in a warehouse where they're able to control the atmosphere. And I, employees get sick all the time right. from this, because right. I. The, but they, right. but they anesthetize the broccoli uh -huh. before they pick it. Yeah. <laughs> Is this in Dachau? <laughs> wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be like weird to like re repopulate the uh, reused facilities for some good for once? Like reuse the marketing too. Right. It's like no, it's the good Dachau. Yeah, this is a good Dachau. Come on, there's a bad. There was a. It's not your old Dachau. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. We know. But it's the name. We, it's it's a, got we, that name power. So right. we, 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 wanna... we use this for good. Yeah. <laughs> Piggybacking that name recognition. Oh, Your man. florette might come with a ghost, but hey, it's a good ghost. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're from the happy Auschwitz. That's it's like a Chuck E. Cheese now. <laughs> <laughs> we just want you to recognize the name. It's that important to us. <laughs> oh, man. They say, hey, any, any, any media is good media. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can't. It's good now. I just, oh man. <laughs> I'm such a terrible person. I just imagine I'm like, all right, kids, everyone line up. We're gonna go in this room. <laughs> instead of leaving, instead of leaving teeth and shoes, they leave leaves. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow, I'm sorry. It's so. Oh, uh, we went to we took broccoli to broccoli to the Holocaust. Well, we really I'm impressed should, with yeah. that. Yeah. That was that was a very very serious leap. There's very um, it's like gentle gases, and I feel like if noble we're noble gases, yeah, <laughs> noble. Well, I as a, you know, I want to be like no, the noble gases are like neon, they glow. <laughs> but I get we get your joke there. Yeah, you I have know, to get all sciency about it. Like like carbon, that's uh, carbon but oxygen. Like, like you can starve it with oxygen. Yeah, yeah, we that's right. And then all the, the workers won't die as much. Right. Well, we try to anesthetize the broccoli. The oh, yeah. <laughs> Just all the employee the deaths for trying to anesthetize the broccoli. <laughs> and then, yeah, like, oh, I forgot. The, uh, I, I forgot oh, the, the air, oxygen. Mm. Holy, that's a hard word for me, apparently. Mm. Yeah, I forgot about that exploding time. Mm. All that yeah. oxygen, we'd, we'd end the, up blowing up the broccoli. When the broccoli fight back. <laughs> <laughs> when they learn to fight back. You guys, we got a Pixar movie here. Oh man! Do <laughs> so like a broccoli revolt? There's gonna be so many anorexic kids. They just broccoli like can't eat anything because it all has a soul. Anything. They're just ruined. Yeah, well, yeah. It's every everything is alive and everything feels pain. And uh, if you eat anything, you're just a terrible person. Mm. So uh, yeah, that's mm. that yeah, is. You I'm have glad to, I don't have a conscious. You have to live off the energy of the mm. sun. <laughs> have to absorb yep just lay out on the beach kids yeah you'll get all your nutrients mm -hmm. it's true there yeah. wasn't there there was like some cults you're talking about the breath arians breath of breath arians breath and arians maybe it was the breath arians and there was another one too that i thought where these people uh claimed to survive only on the energy from the sun really yeah hmm. totally i think i mean come on that while no one's looking these people are eating food yeah. No. Right. <laughs> they wonder. Do you, do, do you think people just go out there and lie about stuff like that? Like, like your sister's been on a diet for ten years and she has no, this sounds yeah. <laughs> sounds controversial for me to say. Right. <laughs> like man, I've been working hard out. Right. Yeah, he well, you lost think, a pound of ten. Years. People would go out there and just lie to the public. <laughs> yeah. You have no faith in humanity, once. Uh, Meanwhile, I'm like <laughs> way more I, cynical. Than I do not have any faith in humanity. I totally do, you guys. You just gotta look at the cool folks. And leave the, leave the loud. It's true. There's like th these loud people that are worthless, but it's not most people. Uh, if you vector in on certain groups, then yeah, yeah. I mean, but most people are all right that you bump into, but some of the least all right people are like most the people are passive that you that you yeah. bump into. So it's generally this 
the people that make an impression on you are, are in the margins. What I think is crazy is a lot of healthcare and uh, public service jobs pretty much depend on psychopaths or sociopaths rather yeah. where like yeah. you can't have someone that's like a hero yeah. that's willing to put aside all this emotion to like jump into a burning yeah. building or, without or, them or being someone who um, numb to a lot or someone who's uh, 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 openly apathetic in a uh, crisis situation like um, it takes it takes basically someone who can put aside feeling to react in situations when I've been doing compressions on someone who's oh. obviously dying or or think of a peds nurse or nurse that mm-hmm. works in the peds department and in, in the oh, ER, yeah. you know I mean it, it t- you, you have to be able to shut down to be able to even function well I think it also draws people that are naturally naturally right uh, numb mm-hmm. to such things anyway right and right that's a that's a weird concept because uh, then we also have this struggle with mental health awareness mm-hmm. in the United States particularly and we, everything that could be uh, the the pathway for someone to get the talk therapy they need or the right medications rather than something that's just postponing a huge breakdown mm-hmm. um, and actually get them on a path where they're mm-hmm. growing and, and changing mm-hmm. their medication as they deal with talk therapy and discover some things mm-hmm. like proper modern scientific mental health care would treat the problem not the symptom to go there to get to that place Mm. with american insurance requires seeing at least one medical doctor that's that just thinks these are just uh an organ condition that you just throw Mm. pills at for the rest of your life Mm. that uh is just oblivious to any way that the mind can go back and affect the body and how one can evolve in their brain chemistry just think oh throw this at this person forever Oh, they have headaches now. Throw this at them. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, oh, they're sleepy. Throw this at them too. Mm-hmm. Instead of actually like a path that works for mental health, as if mental health is uh, nothing, as if it's just a robotic organ, the brain. <coughs> anyway, that's well, it's all interconnected. Super frustrating. And 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 the frustrating part about it is, is that there is a, a massive shortage in healthcare for mental health. The the money's not there basically yeah so insurance doesn't want to pay what it's going to take to actually help somebody so and generally most people they don't even go into those fields anymore mm. you know i don't know many psychologists that even go and practice actual interventional psychiatry anymore. and it's true like you see a counselor or something before you can you even see, see a, a psychiatrist counselor and then an, an maybe yeah. a nurse practitioner <laughs> but people who have no idea even the terms that conditions are uh referred to now mm, right. uh, just can prescribe things that a psychiatrist mm. is supposed to prescribe just right. willy nilly with no and then, psychiatry and then, get and then have the psychiatrist maybe spend that they work under their preceptor uh, maybe spend two minutes looking at their write up and then um, checking off on their prescriptions and if not they'll have the staff call the patient and be like the psychiatrist wants you to try this go pick it up at the pharmacy which will not refund you the money for the med that the wrong med that they were they yeah gave you. <laughs> oh damn yeah it's a lot of situations like that especially like um in interventional medications for oh say like infections that mm. happens all the time because what we'll do is mainly if they see you and you're in need of an antibiotic we, we give you a broad spectrum and then we take a culture but like a couple of days when that culture comes in if there's a different antibiotic that works better that's that's the profile. We'll call you and put you on that other antibiotic. And sorry, you got to spend more money. Uh, <laughs> we were wrong. Yeah. Jeez. You want to get better, <coughs> don't you? Right. Right. Stop yeah. fucking monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. I'm sorry. I'm done with this. <laughs> that, we're yeah. done with the wig. Oh wait, wait. No. Yeah. The crypt keeper hasn't had it on yet. Yeah, that is Rocky, mm-hmm. the station mascot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, now he's rock. He looks, he looks <laughs> he's rock. rock. He's he's all he's all. He's hey, Mallow, can you tilt your camera at him real quick? Oh, give yeah, give a little view of who we're talking about. Boom! There oh. he is. Yeah. Dang! Speaking, speaking of DD Ramon, he looks like he's <laughs> on one of those Disney Channel. Uh, <laughs> he, he looks like Joey Ramon if they would r- raise him now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Sorry, let's go dig him wrong. up and check. That was wrong. Let's do a comparison. <laughs> Break, break. 
<laughs> hey, it came from love. It came from love. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got... I always love talking about our favorite bank in the entire world. Oh, it's that time. Yeah. Bank time. But Wells Fargo apparently had like a massive online shortage. I don't know if they know exactly what happened. Wells it, Fargo, yeah. who we like, love to hate regularly as yeah. a bank. But it fucked up everything like <laughs> direct deposits, any like online transfers, uh, withdrawals. You couldn't do withdrawals. Like everything with the fucking bank was down. Interesting language choice too to call it an online shortage. Yeah. Not yeah. like, oh, our, we let our things break because we didn't maintain them. Yeah, like total. We just didn't have enough online, you know, these guys. There wasn't enough available. Yeah. <laughs> We there wasn't enough internet available we to didn't us. just uh you know purchase more online <laughs> <laughs> we were just a little short on the cyber that's funny <laughs> i read on the onion that um the onion posted an article where freak software accident at wells fargo uh, forecloses on all of their branches <laughs> 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 that would be lovely <laughs> They just shrug. Yeah. Right. It's like, all right, was, this was an easier way to end than how it was looking. <laughs> Still a hell of a lot easier than what they had to do when the company first started. Oh, man. So, wait, when Wells Fargo first started? Mm. You mean like the. Like if you ever had to ride a horse 20 miles as oh, fast yeah. as you can, hold on yeah. Just to pass it off on the next poor kid who's got to run 20 miles, and, you know? It sounds kind of nice, though. I, I think my ancestors did that, according to my last name. Just like wagon drivers, but like all over Warsaw. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I, last time we went on a trip, I just drove right. for like 12 hours. It's like whatever. Right. Well, you shouldn't have to worry about Indians. That's true. Wagon That's train. why we That's don't live in India. Train. Is that a wagon train or a Roma? <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean you guys were gypsies? Oh, that's the thing. I forgot that like, yeah. That, that Roma situation. Yeah. Wow. And that's crazy, you know, because, I mean, most of the time when you read stuff like that about in Europe, it's either fleeing a pogrom, or which I, I don't believe you you have any That Jewish. word I don't know. That's a Jewish, that's like a fleeing a, a, a pogrom is like when they the city would uh, uh, go against the Jews. Oh, that's messed up and, like, kick them out like a... Yeah, yeah, and confiscate the property and that, this, that, and the other. And, um, um, you know, it's... Like the world's it's Indians. Up. In the Teutonic, in the Teutonic section, which was like uh, Prussia and, and Poland, it, it would happen cycle, psychically throughout the years. That's I think where the priority of Zion was written was in that era of Teutonic Poland, but I might be wrong. No, oh. I feel like, frankly, to comment any more about that is too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> Try Dachau broccoli. <laughs> Dachau broccoli, you guys. Oh man, Steamo vouchers yeah, cruelty free. <laughs> all right here's uh this one's just kind of weird right so of course scientists study everything right mm -hmm. doesn't matter what you got to have someone study it right so there's a scientist study uh what are these leopard seal droppings right mm -hmm. so they take a bunch of samples so they <laughs> had this one sample and they you know they collect a lot of samples from all over and then they mm -hmm. free some of them because they got to analyze them and do their do their tests on them, whatever. And so in the freezer, this this particular specimen sits. And when they take it out to do their test, they find a whole USB stick. <laughs> and it still worked. After being eaten by a leopard seal, shat out wherever leopard seals shat, and stuck in a freezer for a year. <laughs> I and, didn't know wow. it was in a freezer for yeah. a year too. Wow. And. Uh, and so they, they loaded it up and uh, found a bunch of vacation photos and, and videos of people, uh, you know, video or recording uh, a group of leopard seals, of course. And someone lost a camera. Yeah, and so they're trying to find the owner of that particular USB stick. I think it's pretty handy that, like, okay, you find this wheel, this uh, USB stick and this leopard seal poo, and you're like, what could it be on? It could be anything. It could be... Mm. The lost Paris Hilton tapes. Mm. There could be Bitcoin on here. There could be a Bitcoin on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see like my Bitcoin. But they get something legitimately useful to them. 
more pictures of seals. <laughs> right. That's all that was on it. <laughs> the the vacation photos, they weren't like the fun kind of vacation right. photos. Right. They weren't like saucy vacation photos. Yeah, like yeah. Of me in that wig and stuff. <laughs> These were just a bunch more seals. Right. Bonus seals. Wouldn't it be funny if it was all like seal porn? <laughs> it might have been we're just not even aware of it like what's erotic with the seal they might have been making a saucy face we don't even know saucy, <laughs> saucy. <laughs> these seals were about 300 ish three three to six hundred miles away uh-huh. from the from the seal poop they found really yeah so something migrated but it could have been you know those people could have lost their Right. USB drive. Or your, or your USB drive was on a, 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 a like a, a, a five old American West tale. <laughs> right. What if what if the people what if the I people like stuck the USB stick in the poo <laughs> for some weird reason? <laughs> like it didn't travel through a seal at all. They're just no, like they just oh, stuck it in there. These just files dropped. are backed up. Just or they're just it. walking by and they happen to drop in a pile of seal shit and they're like, well, that's gone forever. Yeah, <laughs> not washing that How off. How many future like um. Uh, archaeological digs are going to be ruined by something like that. Like somebody's like, you know, like walking by looking at something like a historical landmark now. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I dropped that. Oh, right. <laughs> That's yeah. going to ruin that 200 years from now. Doesn't matter. It's just going to be like plastic. Why is there a coin from 2,000 years after that? <laughs> right. No, just like in the future, just it's all going to be plastic. That's oh. it. That's all. That's all future ar- archaeologists are going to find. Straws, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> just a, a nation. Of, they'll be right. that, that archaeological straw layer. Of right. the... Did these people live on, on straws? <laughs> What's the six-pack ring thing? They start using the old straws in the ground as fuel, mm-hmm. and it's like they oh, run oh, out man. then. Yeah. Like, why do we keep picking resources we run out of? It's a vicious cycle. Okay, here's the thing, though. I'm really excited about this new trend mm-hmm. uh, that's taking over in, in place of putting a message in a bottle, mm-hmm. where instead of this primitive message like bottle, bottle where you put a message in it, you have a modern send USB drive. Yes, as the p- song popularizes, you put this flash drive not inside some bottle. This mm-hmm. is modern era. You mm-hmm. put this flash drive inside a, a seal itself. You just get them to eat it, oh, okay. <laughs> and then when future of when future people eat that seal and they're huh. like, oh, what's in my teeth? Oh, a flash drive. And, huh. and then they can see your vacation photos. Right, right. <laughs> or you put on there like, I had AIDS. Got you, bitch. Ah, you ate the AIDS seal. <laughs> 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 that story of getting AIDS, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which we can joke about now because it's not a death sentence anymore. Yeah. Best way to get AIDS ever. (laughs) (laughs) Epic, epic prank. You got me, bro. (laughs) 4,000 years. God, that guy was a legend. (laughs) Yo, let me tell you about this too, man. Master of the long con. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, he brewed up this prank 4,000 years in the making, right? (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, no. That's good. Hey, wait. I just got a quick one here. All right. If we're done with the seal poop, yeah. I just got like a quick I'm thing. I'm never that... done with seal poop, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something really quick. Just, right. just hold on just a moment. Dude wipes. Stink nuts. Oh, so gross. Yeah. You just feel how gross. Yeah. And you're like, you want somebody to go down on that? You're like, or what is that? Is that swamp ass? You're like, yeah, actually. You're like, you're like, you feel like you could just uh, scoop the goop. It's <laughs> that's so, so gross. But that's what it feels like. Like, these girls don't understand what it's like. That balls. So we have dude wipes to clean, it, the, clean that up. And it totally helps. I'm not going to lie. You take a quick dude shower down there. For every awesome, stanky, and highly questionable situation, quick dude shower. Dudeproducts.com. It's true. Uh. Say it again. You want to? I need to give me some of that. Don't you, though? Don't you? We all don't do. you? No. Nah, don't you? Not to call you out or nothing, but. No, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what you need to freshen out for this place. From top to bottom, the Golden Tiki is the most interesting bar in Las Vegas. It has so many hidden treasures inside that you need to go again and again just to take in the great decor you may have missed the first time. The Talking Tiki, who puts on a show over the bar, or the black velvet paintings that tell the story of the pirate William Tobias Faulkner and his influence on the bar. You gotta love the Tiki-inspired ashtrays, including those that blow smoke when you leave a cigarette inside. Hey, don't steal them. That's not cool. Grab some friends and order the treasure chest used for the $499 VIP service, or the $35 scorpion bowls, or $45 zombie punches. 
the skeleton that puts on his own show, or the waterfall, the lucky tiki you need to rub, the twinkle lights. I could go on and on, but just come down to the Golden Tiki 3939 Spring Mountain Road and experience the hidden hideaway for yourself. Did I mention at the Golden Tiki you should look for the Easter eggs hidden throughout the bar? Return and you'll most likely discover new things you didn't notice before, like Wilson hanging out behind the bar, or Bigfoot's footprint. The Golden Tiki 3939 Spring Mountain Road. That is right. It is a good time. And also, I really, really had to get over all the ashtrays that I've had the repeated habit of stealing. I, I steal ashtrays, you guys. But I, I went to Golden Tiki. What a strange. What a strange. I got to see, you know, what ashtrays could be and how cool they could be and what, uh, what I would be doing to my fellow man, depriving right. them of these ashtrays. Uh, so it's the one place that I just hold back, mm. go in there with my hands in my pockets, right. and I don't steal any ashtrays from Golden Tiki anymore. So it's the one sacred spot on earth. That's right. It is the Ganges of, ashtray, uh, of ashtrays. I mean, clearly it's enough of a concern. Right. Well, both of them are full of ash. Yeah. Like, <laughs> 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 what are the Ganges? <laughs> I love that. I love that we've been, like. I feel like that's a smart person joke. Yeah. Like you guys, the Ganges is dirty. No <laughs> horribly offense. Horribly dirty. Horribly, horribly. I don't mean to. Yeah, I'm not saying people shit the Astria Gold Tiki, but the Ganges, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be crazy. For reals, though, it's so important that you know about this great place and to patronize it. Oh, it's but it's nearly almost as important and worthy of putting in the same commercial to you that you should not steal their ashtrays. It's that cool. The place is so great, we have to warn you. You might not even think that that's a thing that you could do anywhere, but you're going to here. So we're just gonna tell you before you even step foot just, in the door. Just, just don't do it. Do, don't do it. not we'll steal you. these ashtrays, at least. Just hold we'll it off. Find you. We'll find you. They're all gps would yeah. <laughs> Low they jack. Throw, they throw smoke signals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. I love it. So, uh, we're on Radio Vegas. Da rocks. This is the Greasy Conversation Show. Greasy. rocks. Mm. I love it. All right. I thought, I think it's time to bust this out. This seems pretty silly. We can do. Unwrap it. All right. I like these lists because they're, they're fun to run through. 15 apps for couples you never knew existed. And you're about to see why you never heard of them. The couples and the apps. <laughs> Both. <laughs> these, these are 15 apps. Uh, there's another game you can play, which is how many of these apps are the same thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or like things that already exist. Right. Yeah. Right. It's <laughs> like, oh, there's like two or three of them I can tell you to advance. Well, they're like, chat but with just your significant other. Right, like, yeah, oh. so, the, so the first one is called Couple. What it does, Couple lets you and your partner share messages, videos, and allows <coughs> you to draw together. Wow, like no other draw. app lets you. Yeah. Allows you to draw. You can draw things to each other. Yeah, yeah. but the real, the real high point of this app is the thumb kiss, which <laughs> lets you, uh, well, I love what it says, because whoever wrote this mm. article is mm. shit, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whether your boo is in another room or another country, you can share a little intimacy by touching your thumbs to the same spot on the screen. How cute. But what's not cute is it's not really your thumbprint. Okay? Yeah, if true. I got to see really like my lady's cute ass thumbprint, yeah. I'd be like, oh, sweet. Those are my lines. Right. I, I recognize the swirl there. Yeah. Right. It's just like a generic thumbprint. Yes. Or like random thumbprint. Oh, it's that's just lame. some generic. Th so you just know they touch the screen in a certain spot. Oh, that's shit. That's not it's communicating ridiculous. enough information for it's, intimacy. It's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. No, it's not. When, when cyber, when cybering is sexier than your <laughs> app 15 right. years later than your <laughs> Your life sucks. So on, on <laughs> iOS, there's a thing where you can, like, tap on this black screen and, like, these pulses of, like, hearts or shapes or something happen. At least that, you can see aspects of someone's personality in their timing or how adorably sloppy they might have tapped on it or if they, like, mm. had this weird precision about it or, mm. they, or they made it into a, a suggestive shape with it or something. But this is not – this is the fingerprint. It's a picture of a fingerprint mm. that might or might not be near another fingerprint yeah, yeah. picture yeah, yeah. shape. 
She might not get your finger print, but the NSA did. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Gotcha. They already had it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This next one, I, I could see the use for this, but it seems really silly. It's called Fix a Fight. Okay. And it guides couples through the steps needed to repair a relationship. <laughs> this might actually, fight. this might uh, actually be my favorite app yeah. on here, though, because really? they actually teamed with psychologists and stuff okay. with actual patterns okay. of conflict right. resolution. Right, right, right. Do yeah. not say calm down. Do it even you, calm down. It even u- utilizes danger, danger. it even utilizes the voice of marital therapist Mark McGonagall to soothe you when things get heated. <laughs> Whoever yeah, that guy is. I don't know that. Yeah, they should have had like uh, Uncle Phil or, or Dr. Phil. Yeah. They should have got Dr. Phil. Now now listen. Y'all need to calm F down. <laughs> they have a mode that's Roseanne Barr. <laughs> <laughs> you could just load up. Shut up! <laughs> Stop <laughs> fighting! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, this next. Okay. Fixed. <laughs> this, uh, yeah. This next one actually. Alright, I could see this one. This, this, is, this is how you do an app. It's called 69 Places. Ooh. Alright. This and is how you do an app. I like that preface. Yeah. Right? That preface. So this app offers up different places you and your. Paramore, fuck uses that word, man. Can get it on. They range from the banal, a couch to the bazaar, a porto potty. It's like geo that geo tag, but with sex. Yeah, just for places right. to have sex. Yeah. Right. I like the the people pic- are already there. Are you trying yeah. to go? Right. The they're like, yard, oh the man, the yard line at Bishop Gorman Stadium. <laughs> 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 That's a high score. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> Man. The art gallery at the Bellagio. But it just has ideas, right? It doesn't have, like, tagged yeah. locations. No. Like, just there's like, a cave yeah. on this hike. Right. The third, yeah. The no, third machine like... from the left at the stage door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, like, the screenshot, but it's all, like, places. It's all places that I've done it. It's like, it's... <laughs> <laughs> These are just places you would think of anyway, except for uh, a fire truck. Fire truck. But, like, the list on here is just, like, shower, bath. Under a bridge. Sure. Listening to Red Hot Chili Peppers. The fireplace, which. Yeah, sorry, kind of hurt. All right, so like in front of the fireplace, yeah. or do you mean like in, in the, fire the fireplace? Yeah, right, I think yeah. just I mean, the fireplace is right, not enough right. details. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's you know let's get Are real we dirty and. A goat at the same yeah, time. <laughs> you know that's all right. I can, I'm, I'm behind. You this don't right. do it when there's fire there. You just get all ashy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part It'd be kind of hard on top of a wood pile, wouldn't she get a? Wouldn't she get a splinter? Well, that's part of the <laughs> well, adventure. More, more than just mine. Hey, that's not the only thing gonna be poking her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, this next one is called. Uh, let me see. What, what is it called? Ice break for couples. Uh, ice ice, ice break, break is an app for young couples that lets them share their answers to personality questions. And hypotheticals. So I guess that could be good for, like... So it's like a Cosmo quiz, but it, it doesn't yeah. end after ten questions. Yeah, exactly. And it's, you know... I just want to shoot myself if, I, if, if my girl ever gave me, hey, we're going to play this. No, we're not. <laughs> no, just every answer is yep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that honey. Fun. Sure, yeah. honey, whatever you say. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> yep. They just named the app Yep. <laughs> That's the guy version. <laughs> yep. Yep. Always have a response for your ladies' questions. It's like yeah. a translator. Yeah. It just turns your yeps into like an insightful <laughs> oh, that reply would be the, based on the that data would that be came the in. highest selling app of all time. <laughs> <laughs> we call it Hitch. <laughs> oh man. That's brilliant. Yeah, so say we're gonna we're gonna stop the show right now and start development. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys. Uh, Greenland. Yeah. Soon, sometime. We'll, yeah, we'll be five hundred million dollars richer next year. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It, this is, these are all kind of like starting to weird me out because they're like things you should just be able to talk about with someone. Oh God, but like, people don't talk anymore. Like this one, it's called kind do kind do you kind do you I don't know mm-hmm. kind do whatever it doesn't matter who cares. Uh, it suggests ideas for you and your partner to try out in the bedroom. You rate each one as definitely no thanks or maybe, or open to discussion, and the app, app matches uh, your guys' responses. Yeah, see, that's another example of something you could do that with, like PowerPoints. 
Right. Uh, like a good PowerPoint. A good I was actually PowerPoint. thinking of an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah. So, right. like, okay, did you review our, our, our position spreadsheet? Because on page two, there's a location attribute, and some of them are linked to uh, the, the third sheet where that's where we've got like time periods and i think there's I mean, just look i've got some you parts know, costumes, of the month you know, x'd off let me know third, if i line that up right bullet, it's the third bullet point you yeah. see it. it's for god's sake okay it says go to index four yes yeah, section 17 yeah, right. it's called <laughs> a3 yeah i mean i just think <laughs> What do you mean this is Swedish to you? This is hot, you guys. Don't you love documentation? This is when I get off. Oh, man. And this is, this, is how, this is what I hear in my head whenever I'm putting together Ikea. The Microsoft <laughs> Office subscription for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Office 365, baby. <laughs> don't, don't be getting in my Microsoft account. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. This Made this Microsoft micro. Yeah, not his micro not so soft account. <laughs> <laughs> Still micro though. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah. Womp womp. All right, this one is called avocado for some reason. Mm. That's another California name. No, yeah, it's yeah, gotta right. be. Keep all your shared pics, videos, and messages in one place. Oh man, I totally need a way to do that. Not yeah, my yeah. entire computer. These guys are listen, brilliant. Listen, no, honestly, I mean, but but like to have more than one person access that particular cloud database. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about that yet. Yeah, no. Well, you I know do. What I mean, I know their edge. personal accounts and stuff well, like that. But Dropbox. But, yeah, Dropbox. I hate Dropbox. Dropbox but I hate it too, but I don't know. It does do that. OneDrive, if we're going to go with a Microsoft product again. Yeah. Mm. Those sexy Microsoft products. <laughs> I'm going to say OneDrive. We use OneDrive at the station, Radio Vegas Star Rocks, actually. To start oh, man. This... So each one of these has, like, you know, a little description of what it does and then another one, why you need it. Because mm -hmm. they got to tell you this shit in these All articles, right. right? This one, why you need it. You can receive a notification when your love's battery is dying. No more wondering why she hasn't responded to your fifth triple question mark text oh man because of course you've got to be that dude yo that's the i see like i'm not seeing the <laughs> this, who made this app and they must be single oh my God. Right? if or they're more concerned of, or a victim of a horrible tragedy okay, right? okay like... ladies how would you like this gentleman he must know on his phone if you're keeping care of your battery which yeah. does sound like me because i'm so on edge about charging you her phone be, stuff though. you have to be oh my god everyone's got to be on their phone charging tip because there's like no pay phones anymore it's like a danger thing but anyway i'm like that asshole it's like did you charge your phone you have a charger cable how's your phone charging did you charge your battery to you turn your screen off you set your phone down but the screen's still on <laughs> <laughs> but, but like oh, oh i know you're like <laughs> But to throw up, but to throw a fit over five unresponded. Yeah, I'm not People the, like the that, five messages yeah. of triple question marks guy. I'm not that no. guy. No. And <laughs> any guy who is doesn't use that app with anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if my girlfriend was kidnapped and I ain't seen her in a week and I saw that maybe, but yeah, otherwise, like, yeah. Well. and actually, it'd be kind of a good thing then because you can geotag maybe where she is. <laughs> yeah, there's an actual thing that if, you can use you that. If you didn't know me already. Yeah, that, that app that you snuck on her phone to track where she is anyway, you can just use that. Yeah. <laughs> I told you that in confidence. Right, this, this next one is another brilliant uh, trailblazer called Wicker. No E, just Wick R. All right. Allows you to send texts, pictures, videos, even PDFs that can last from three seconds to six days. What? So um, it's just like expired. You post things that expire. Yeah. The app. Yeah. It's like just marketing it to a certain. You know how mad I'd be if I had to download a PDF, PDF, uh, PDF and then it freaking canceled <laughs> after four seconds. Right. right. I'd be so <laughs> PO'd. That was that? What? PDF owed even. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's computer humor for you. Uh, That's derailingly stupid for me to say. <laughs> This other one. Is... In this room is now Wait, there's a second part. Ah, no, that's it. It's just, it's just like a, it's just like a different kind of Snapchat, but claims they don't save information and user data to any servers. Claims. Claims. 
but we know how those claims go. Uh, yeah. Uh, Until their parent company. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like, oh. Get subpoenaed by the NSA. Yeah. Or they, or they have a go public or something, get bought by another company that doesn't have that rule. Right. Any, any wonder. Why is Google starting to sell me that product that was only in that Snapchat? <laughs> Man, people think like, oh, why did it offer this thing to me? It had to have been snooping on the microphone for advertising purposes. No, it's, your, well, it's your habit of what you're what Exactly. You're, what you're like, you really think you're that unpredictable? Right. Or you, you really think that, like, uh, there's no one else that has a mustache and also shops at Starbucks? Right. It's like. This is how those um, mentalists have make a living. Yeah. As yeah. As they know, they know ways of checking. Uh, being able to guess the stuff about people, like and you're, and believe me, you're not original. <laughs> right. Yeah. You, you the know. worst example of that ever, though, those Starbucks mustaches. The Starbucks mustaches. That's, that's not a thing. Uh, way there's way There's only one original person in this world, in my opinion, and that's um, John Waters. Yeah. Right. Everyone else is never derivative of everybody else after that. There's no one. There's no one like John Waters. There will never be anyone like John Waters. Hell yeah. I get behind that. Don't just don't get just don't get in front of John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's not like a such an emissary of like unique uh, fringe culture that's harmless mm. and cool though. Mm, kitschy. Yeah. Mm. All right, we got a few more. We'll just run through them because they're all they're all you know. Uh, I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> they're all just like versions of different things for couples. Which is so. Stupid. Yeah, it's like existing things with new marketing on top of it. Right. Wait, what? Lock lock syncs your lock screens so you can use them as a virtual message board? That's kind of neat. You can send those important goofy selfies guaranteed to see them without conspicuously unlocking their phone. Who cares about them? What the? What the? I guess maybe if you're at work and they're like strict about that shit, I uh, guess. I don't know. If my wife was a lawyer, I'd be sending her dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> Pop it up uh, on her oh, screen. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. This, this is... All right. I spoke too soon. This is a good one. I don't see... Uh, it doesn't show the name on this one for some reason. It's all glitched out. But this app analyzes movement and audio data to give you statistical feedback on your performance in the bedroom. Like a Fitbit for the sheets. Yeah. You can oh. finally combine your love mm. of sex and bar graphs to improve mm. your game between the sheets. Huh. That is a fuck. That's an app right there. Huh. You could use that alone too. Yeah, if you're totally. not moving around, you're not bouncing around enough in your gentleman's time. Yeah, for the exercise. G gentleman's time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You have released knuckle children six times this week. <laughs> oh, this one sounds terrible, actually. Speaking of ghosts. Speaking of ghosts. How many ghosts have you created <laughs> in your lifetime? <laughs> oh man, too many. Too, too many, many to. <laughs> Too many to regret, that's for sure. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one seems kind of weird. Uh, it's called Coupley, with a K. Mm -hmm. Turns your relationship into a game. Yeah, that's a good start. Yeah, and By allowing you to send points to your partner every time they do something nice. Isn't that what women do anyway? Right, but it just seems like terrible to turn it into an app. Like, then you have to oh, know about far, it. Oh, by far, yeah, yeah. But I wonder if they like if you can subtract points too. That's where it gets fucked up, man. Yeah. You can hack it. Like, no, honey, no, I'm doing. That's horrible. Yeah, no, you're you're mistaken. I've got ten million points. High score, bitch. <laughs> High score, bitch. <laughs> Did I break it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this uh, how you play that? I don't know. I've never played it before. Is this how you do it? Right. All right. That's it. That's it. That's our. That's, that's our fun for apps. The the app time and i mean i guess that that's all it takes to like make like a new the, app is just like, like copy app. something that exists and just yeah just twist it a little bit you know yeah. it's like any drug out there just twist that molecule a little bit you have a yeah really yeah compound. make it better it's some, what, what's more american than stealing someone else's idea right it's true it's the american dream yeah we did we just eliminated the king yeah all we right last the one king? Well, we basically have a democracy. It's just oh, I see. What you're it was from the beginning, you know. We've you know, we just have a we just have a better king distribution. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. this, this is an interesting one. It's always always interesting to uh, check out Pornhub stats. 
you know, all about them stats. But stats. <clears throat> last year, for instance, people spent a long time searching for Bigfoot pornography uh, because one of the candidates for Congress was a devotee of Bigfoot erotica. Oh, God. <laughs> and then before the release of Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, there was a spike in Red Dead Redemption porn searches. And then, I don't know if you guys have Red seen, and like... Red Dead and porn doesn't yeah. sound like it would bring up a very good solution. <laughs> and, it, and it holds true for uh, Fortnite, Minecraft, and Bowsette. I don't know if you guys have peeped on Bowsette. Hell yeah, Bowsette. About... Bowsette. Yeah. Bowsette. Think... Do you know who Bowsette is? Like female, like Bowser from Mario Brothers. Oh, oh they did a female, Lord. but it's like, but it's like, <laughs> it's like Peach. Yeah, it's like a, a, it looks like Peach. Kinda. Like a stacked Peach with a with a Bowser shell. <laughs> Not <laughs> the mama. Not the mama. <laughs> 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 Damn. That was good. Oh, oh, dear Lord. I'm so stoked to be able to, like, introduce you to Bowsette. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> but then there's, al- there's also, like, uh, they made one for pretty much, like, every version of yeah, character in Mario Brothers. Now there's, like, Boo- Boozette, which is, like, the female Boozette. ghost chick. Oh. But they're all, like, anime uh, yeah. big tits and shit, so. Um, all right. But this, oh, is, this, is, this particular... Pornhub. Fired knuckle children to a cartoon before. Yeah, who had, I mean, who had? knuckle children. <laughs> <laughs> knuckle spawn. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I think you. It was hit of maniacs, but that's a weird way to go about things. I just picture you going like knuckle to it, like knuckling, knuckling oh, your no situation. Way, that's not how you do I, it. I don't feel comfortable with you picturing that. That's at not all. how you do it. I thought everyone did it with the knuckles. <laughs> Some knuckle. Some knuckle. <laughs> Some knuckle went down it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't too sorry for this fool if it's shit. <laughs> Dude, Dude <you> guys, <laughs> let's let's take a quick All right. moment on that. Not on that that moment. Ah, uh, that's the sound most people make when they leave Pinches Tacos. Why is that? Because Pinches Tacos prides themselves in making every location unique but give every location the same feel. I'm not talking cookie cutters like those big chain restaurants. They blend into your neighborhood and create a place you want to call your second home. Their doors are always open. Well, at least until 11 o'clock. Their mission is simple. They provide you the best taco experience by using high quality meats and seafood, fresh garden vegetables, handmade tortillas, and high quality artisan breads. They could have made it complicated, but they chose not to. Why? Because they found through experience that keeping things simple is a good recipe for success and happiness. It's also a good recipe for a pretty tasty Finches taco. According to Spanish language Stack Exchange, we always use it as an insult enhancer and can turn almost any curse word into a really rude one. Pinche pendejo, pendeja equals f- asshole. Now they have six locations, two right here in Las Vegas. Come in, find out why we love them so much. Check them out on Facebook or visit the website, pinchestacos.com, for a location nearest you. That's right. Pinches. We like them, but we also like hemp. Check it out. Hey, have you guys ever heard about Hemp Works? I have. It's the highest quality hemp derived CBD oil you can get. They have 11 incredible hemp derived CBD products in the Hemp Works brand. The products consist of six tinctures, three topicals, and two pet products which all utilize CO2 extracted hemp oil grown in Kentucky. That's the good stuff. There's a 60 day money back guarantee, so it's totally risk free. If you don't like it, money back guarantee. Contact Heather B. Centers on Facebook or Happy Healthy Family 5 at gmail.com and get your hemp work CBD oil today. Happy Healthy Family at Gmail. Now, when I was in high school, you're listening to Radio Vegas Dot Rocks, the Greasy Conversation Show. By the way, I thought that it would be really funny if a fetus were to grow in a man, but uh, not have any way out, just in the in the abdominal cavity. Yeah. But stay in there long enough that it learned language. 
And so this fetus grew up in a happy, caring home uh, with more than two parents, extra parents even. And this great family with brothers and sisters, they would talk with it and it would talk back until one day this first man to give birth would have the fetus through exercising and getting smart in there finally be able to tear its way out. At which point it Quato. would rip out of the admin. Quato ah. from Total Recall. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And, then, <laughs> and pull out and be like, ah, I live in a happy family. <laughs> Quay. Mary and, catches a bullet right through the head. <laughs> yeah, so that was just like a thing. Like whenever I hear anything that sounds like I live in a happy family, uh, me and the, there's at least five or six other people on this earth that when hearing that will feel at least subconsciously inclined to like tuck their elbows into their chest and like wave little little hooky arms and go, I oh, live in a happy family. <laughs> baby arms, baby arm in it. Yeah. <laughs> So take that with you to the water cooler at work tomorrow. <laughs> I love it. I live in a happy family. Right. That's great. All right, back to our uh, Pornhub data. All right, so I got to go over this. This is our... These <laughs> Some are the, really interesting data on this. Yeah, <laughs> so these are the game day search, and this is by percent increase of the, the search terms. Super Bowl, I'm going to go from the top down. Mm -hmm. Super Bowl, 3,000... 341% increase wow. on Pornhub. This is searched on Pornhub, keep in mind. Mm -hmm. Patriots, 3,115%. Mm -hmm. Right. Touchdown, 1,880%. Right. NFL, 1,225%. Who goes to Pornhub, mind you, and just like, I want to see what's got touchdown. Is yeah. It, I want to see right. some touchdowns. And right. then finally we get into just football cheerleader, uh, 972%. Yeah. I like the specific there. Yeah. So it's those tennis cheerleaders, get them out of here. Yeah. No. And then no, we no. finally right have. Back here, baby. I like you tennis girls too. Don't. <laughs> then, we, <laughs> then we finally have uh, cheerleader orgy. Oh yeah. Six hundred forty-four percent increase. Should be more. Then we have football player. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what you're into. Yeah. And then the next. This is one of my favorites. Boob slap. Boob slap. <laughs> How did that sneak in there? I don't mm -hmm. know. 439 percent. What increase. about the Super Bowl? Like, made boob slapping get all popular. Was there know. some ad that we missed? Boob slap it. Wait, you don't think it's popular enough already? <laughs> not even. It sounds aggressive. You know, boob slap. Yeah. Yeah. delicate I mean, to that area. That's quite an increase. It's not a yeah. butt. Who slaps a boob? Day. I've slapped a boob. I mean, some girls like it. It's, well, it's an interesting. Knock thing, around a little, a little bit, but like a good slap to it. Uh, uh, I'm yeah. itchy now. Yeah, I, I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not saying. <laughs> I'd say it come from the ankles, but <laughs> it's like running start. Right. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like she has a stutter. I was gonna but... say, like a booty can take a good slapping, mind you. Mm. Yeah, oh yeah, a little booty snap. <laughs> Let me holla at you. Holla, 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 holla. It's a tougher part of the body, but I mean, an elbow. An elbow can take a hell of a slap. Yeah, yeah. I, sh yeah, I always slap ladies elbow. in the elbow. They like the it. Next, no, that's not the next search. Mm. Naked cheerleaders, athlete, yeah. football, locker room. Somebody who's looking up the rules. What the right. These make sense. Yeah. I still can't believe site. someone would search for a touchdown more than locker room. What are you expecting to get from the that The lady search? went to the husband's, com uh, the husband's computer, typed in P, inspecting the professional sports. <laughs> <laughs> Clicked on the first thing that came up. So I was trying to find replays of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Then we have, what, what, okay, so locker room, cheerleader 179, Snapchat 122%, okay. Super Squirt 84%. See what, okay, Super? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about the Super enough. Bowl? Oh, Regular's Super enough. Bowl? Okay, you just maybe yeah. thinking about Super things? Yeah, maybe. Regular is enough. I don't, I mean, what is Super Squirt? Is that like a hose? That is like is, you know, a certain. It shouldn't there just be levels. Well, you guys, you guys gotta I, do your me, research. Yeah. It's a thing. Yeah. There's only so much uh, moisture that can be made down there before it's definitely pee. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so you just need to be honest with yourself. Right. About what <laughs> you're enjoying. Damn! Did your yeah. water just break? <laughs> <laughs> and then the last two, sports. <laughs> and my sports. personal favorite, Cardi B. Cardi B. <laughs> yeah. She made it. She made it. 
And uh, no, she it's makes just, money moves. Yeah, it's just funny looking at Pornhub data. I don't mm. know. I, so I don't, you, so you try to extrapolate anything. Like I, I wish I was in high school still. That would be my science project. Right. Just yeah. Analyzing. Analyzation of Pornhub activity. Right. <laughs> and then immediately after the game ended, the Super Bowl ended, there was a rather large spike in Pornhub searches. Like as soon as the just game was done. Just generally, right away. Yeah, yeah. Just everyone's like, "All right, back to porn." <laughs> Well, after that Super Bowl, the first thing I wanted to do was to forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I heard it was pretty, like, I'm not really into football, but I heard it was pretty lame. Wasn't the it, like, best. the most defensive game ever? Yes. yes, it was a great defensive play. It was a great defensive game. It really was. It was as, as For somebody who played defense and was a defensive fan, it was an outstanding game. But it just, it was it was a terrible game offensively. And it just, the commercials just weren't that good. That's you what know, I heard, too. There were a couple good ones, but that was it. The halftime show was, was, well, I'll leave the opinion to your own opinion on that. I thought it was absolutely horrendous. but Horrendous? I thought uh, it was at least all right. Uh, Unless you, like, hate Adam Levine. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We got down to that. I, once again, I will leave you to say what you want. Um, but I, 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 uh, I it just, uh, when, it, when, when it gets done, you want to forget about it. Yes, yeah. That's the first thing you want to do is go to porn because... You know, Although I did like, there was a tweet that came out about three quarters of the way through the game, and it got famous immediately. Went everywhere. It was, uh, wow, both of these uh, teams are playing like they don't want to go to the White House. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought that was so brilliantly done. I was just like slow clapping whoever right. wrote that. Oh yeah. I don't, my favorite part about all the the Adam. That was my favorite part of the whole Super Bowl. Was that yeah. Tweet. My favorite part was all the after the Adam Levine memes, and. Surprising, like how many people have fabric in their homes that look like the sh the shirt he was wearing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they're a hella poster. Like, why do why yeah. is he wearing like my pillow? Yeah. Or or, or the, the like, fat the guys that are writing like um, Wisconsin on their thing because he had California tattoos. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like making fake tattoos. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Fat guys with a beer in their hand, like recreating poses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some good some good memes. He there, seemed right? kind of nervous for the whole first mm. verse. Oh, I would be you too. can see it. I know, right? Anyone would be. So that kind of the won There's me only over. one person in the world who ever walked in. This is a great story. I'm going to paraphrase. I'm sorry. I don't know whose story this is. If you hear me saying it, I, I mean the world to you because you, you went through it. But there's a documentary put on about the Super Bowl halftime show. It was online. And there's this one guy that was in charge of it during the Miami Super Bowl where Prince did it. Mm -hmm. The all-time, what is it, everybody says is the greatest halftime show ever. And it was raining really hard that whole game. They're having monsoon conditions. And he remembers he walked up to Prince before, about halfway through the second quarter. And he walked up to him and he goes, uh, Mr. Prince, he goes, I'm sorry. We, we don't know what to do at the moment. We're working on it. Because of the way the weathermen are telling us, the rain's going to continue through the halftime. And I don't know if we can have that happen. And, and Prince stopped him. He goes, can you make it rain harder? <laughs> <laughs> and it just, and then he went out and did that on, yeah. with, with, with Cuban heels. Yeah. And, and, oh, yeah. and, a, and, a, and a simple guitar player and, and all that electricity in the middle of a monsoon. It's wow. just unbelievable. And they put on probably the performance of a lifetime. Yeah. So yeah. So I that's just, what was missing. We need to wet them down. Adam yeah, Levine. Dig we, just had to, <laughs> we need to dig up the bottom. And no, I was just saying there should have been some people with buckets <laughs> dousing down Adam Levine. Uh, just just get the fire hose yeah, out. Yeah, we need to wet that shit down. That's where the half time Just hit him with a fire again. hose. <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Out in the corner in the pouring rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That would have been the best Super Bowl ever. Yeah. F so fixed it, you guys. We, fi we, we repaired it. There we go. Wait, hold on. That one? That, that, I'll settle with that one. Yeah. I was really looking for more of like a... But like... But... Ooh, that's transitional. That's very transitional. Yeah, I dig that. All right, this one. This is this is a juicy one. Ooh. All right, the uh, Germany. Juicy. Yeah, it's juicy. That German Ger juice. It's Sour very, juicy. very yeah. German. <laughs> Sour. Yeah. So they're uh. They basically let me let me get this right because I read it earlier and then I forgot it because I always do that. Oh no, well I lost it. 
but basically they came down on Facebook and said that they uh, can't collect users' data, or they can't make users opt in to having their data collected for using the free service, mm -hmm. which kind of undermines like Facebook's whole way they make money. Yeah. Right. Algorithm. Um, yeah. So Germany <laughs> cucked the suck. Uh, well, I mean, all, all Facebook has to do is just um, resend it and have people like have to opt in. No, that's the issue. Is Germany's not letting people even opt in. Yeah, they 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 they're saying Facebook can't even give people the option, or it can't like force people to opt in to use the free service. So people should be able to use the free service without opting to have any of their data used. I Which you know, I, right because it kind of takes away Facebook's whole like, monetization like, model. Yeah, and I feel like if uh, if uh, just as a, any entity that's trying to exist as a company. You have yeah. to allow a, a profit motive. I'm with you on so, that. I mean, That's kind of taking know, it too far. They're like, not a public like if you, service. Like if you, it, it, you know, I mean, if you advertise the fact that, hey, you know, in order to use this application, your your data will be mined and this, that, and the other, you know, and give people the choice to join a board. Just don't, you know, cut out the company. I, I, I see that going to appeal. Yeah. That's, that's it. But it's Germany. Who knows? Yeah. You know? The guy's name is uh, Zuckerberg. Yeah, it's got to be worth something, right? They... Excuse me. Wow. I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds to me like you had some of that brilliant, that brilliant no-kill uh, uh, soft model Dachau broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cruelty-free. Cruelty-free, folks. Oh, That's yeah, not the broccoli this door. This one. I, told, I almost didn't get to this one. How could I not have got to this one? Oh, oh sweet. Shit. Yes. Having a revelation here. Revelation. All right. Yeah. This 27-year-old man is trying to sue his parents for having him without his consent, mm. for giving birth to him without right. his consent. Right. So the old chicken versus the egg question. Yeah, but it, it's involving lawyers. And I it's love how mad you are about this. An interesting idea, though. Because uh, there's no legal precedent. Yeah, and and they're not. No one's going to make that legal precedent. Like, could you imagine? Mm. Like, what? Then what is some? Do they just get to like opt out, or they get to sue their parents? Like, right. what the fuck? What, what's the process? I mean, it's never going to go anywhere. Right. But it's uh, I don't know. I think it's an. Well, an, I don't know. I mean, there are there are certain cases in abortion law where you know is the fetus does the fetus have rights? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's like one of the major cruxes. This is something that that could you know kind of put some precedent in towards that lawsuit. Yeah. You know, I mean, I I I, I mean, obviously, I don't know what you're supposed to do. Whether or not you're supposed to break out your pick and um, have the fetus, like you know, yeah, I I, I, I don't exactly well, know. Well, not how long after consumption, 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 you have to consumption. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll make some consumption happen. If she had only consumed it, we wouldn't be in this. Mess I know, in right? The first place. She. So what we do is we put a uh, put a little microphone up there, a little camera, get a little endoscope, right. and we communicate with the fetus. We right. ask it. Yo, blink once for yes and twice for no, right. and if you're not if you're not down with this, we're gonna get you out of here. All right, I need you to I need you to tap mommy's bladder three times for no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to be born? It's kind of shitty out here. Right. But you know, I don't know. Well, his name is Donald, and he's only gonna be president for no. okay. <laughs> okay. She said no. So check out no. this headline though. Uh, <laughs> they quote him as saying. They had me for their joy and their pleasure. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's certainly not a pleasure to them right now getting sued by this little right. spawn. And then, and keep in mind, this is ha this is happening in India, not in America. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But it's part of a uh, a, a system or belief system called mm -hmm. antinatalism, right. which promotes the notion that children shouldn't be forced to be born, mm -hmm. especially at the expense of the planet. Huh. But you know, it, it kind of just throws a wrench in just how the system is. You you just. You right. get born and you have to fucking suck it up. Right. All right. You know, you know if I was the, if I was like the the, uh, the dad in that situation, I'd be like, "You're right. I'm guilty. <laughs> give me a give me a circumcision, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, I'll walk away scot free." You right. want to have any more kids? And believe me, I wish I would have done it before this little bastard. You mean <laughs> it's from circumcision? <laughs> right. No, the second. Well, no. Hey, hey. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, and and throw, we'll throw a circumcision. Yeah, just toss that in there. Clean it up, okay? 
there, you know. Clean things up, boys. You, so you don't just get the tires <laughs> rotated. You got to do the balance, too. Oh, man. Um, but, uh, and then, hey, then we'll clone it, and then we'll get yeah. facials from the that cloned foreskin. I mean, I bet, like, 12 chicks could get a facial. You know, honestly, if I was that dad, I'd be like, well, if you didn't want to be born, I guess we can make that happen. Yeah, we can reverse that. It's not a problem. There's plenty of desert out here. Right. Oh, man. You know, everybody will think somebody just shit in the, in the middle of a field. It's India. They do it all the time. I uh, just realized is... what I said sounded way dirtier than one would think if they didn't know that there was a thing where there's Korean children whose foreskins are being cloned, and then the cloned foreskin is being harvested for stem cells, which is then micro, microderm abrasion, like microneedled into the skin right. of... Uh, I, Celebs, I, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm more. I, I like the original idea, cloned facials. Yeah. <laughs> I love, you know. Does that explain why Tom Cruise always looks like such a dick? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So I, I think this is more of like the uh, going against the the kind of just the Indian culture mm-hmm. of you know parents being or like children having to live up to their parents standards or do what their parents right. want them oh, to do and nice like, uh, context go for into yeah. you know the career they want them to do and marry the person they want them to you know right. like with arranged marriage and that's right. how i think it's more of like rebelling against that idea is what it seems like so so like emancipation more looking for freedom from emancipation kind of yeah and just more like culturally Versus, too because i mean they're yeah. like believe in multiple reincarnation and that kind of stuff too so, you know what i mean why why does it only matter because they're human because we have a law system. What if he was yeah. born to a rat? Would he, have, yeah. would he have been upset with his rat parents <laughs> and ate them? I know. I would have been. <laughs> I wish I could. Uh, I may be just a country lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hell, you, I'm a chicken country lawyer. <laughs> if you guys. All right. When we get reincarnated, what are you guys picking? What am I picking? Yeah, yeah. I love this question. Ooh, that's a good question. I'm picking a rabbit. Rabbit? Oh, yeah. All the sex I want. Yeah. All right. I'm picking half eagle, half scorpion. <laughs> Some of this swooping, flying scorpion. Right? It's terrifying. You said anything I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. We did say that. So, so, so yeah, you did. It's Spider Eagle. There's going to be this evil laboratory. Spider Eagle. Yeah. Spider Eagle. This this eagle and this... The scorpion I are going to be. I fly through them. <laughs> so once there's this genetic freak um, mm. built in a lab right. that breaks free with its right. hyper intelligence, right. uh, that I'm going to be reincarnated as that thing. Ah, I see. I see. Yeah. So this like is it. my clone with three asses. Swinging my giant <laughs> tail and. This is my fish with three asses. <laughs> I, I'm way, this is way better than the three ass fish. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know about that. But fish, fish love their bottles. Yeah, I don't know what I would choose. Maybe I just maybe just a sloth. A sloth, simple yeah. sloth. And just be like, fucking lazy as fuck. Mm. Ain't gotta worry about shit. Just take my common house. Take cat. my goddamn time. Common house cat. Yeah, yeah oh, man. that's a move. Yeah, that's the life right yep. there. So I can get to run a household without humans knowing. <laughs> For real, yeah, man. You already come with two pets when you're born. Yeah, right. You know, crazy. I don't know if I'm going to, like, regret agreeing with this guy, but I like that he says infertile is sexy. I love infertile women, mind you. Mm -hmm. It's just way less responsibility. Right. Right. Yeah. I ain't going to worry about it. I can get behind it. Right. I would. (laughs) (laughs) Who needs needs fertility? So saucy this episode. Yeah. I love it. (laughs) And then there was uh, I lost I lost all my news notes I can't find them, but there was one about bounty hunters using um, phone data. There was kind of like a small network of bounty hunters, who are the people who go after you if you don't. Uh, if so you try how to, like, do they have access to my phone data? That is not legal and or correct. Exactly. I mean, unless I'm they sneak an app in though. Yeah. If I'm Android using tip, social you know. media, that's one thing, and I'm posting yeah. like, where I'm at or something like that. But to be able to access any kind of proprietary data, as far as the GPS unit and or any, you know, I, I, ooh, 
I would have issues. I would have issues. Well, oh, there's yeah. there's questions about the legality of even court subpoenaing data from yeah, totally. phone Absolutely. providers. I mean, that, which that, comes up, that comes up in all, every time they have to redo the Patriot Act. God, this is gross. Yeah, that. it's crazy, huh? Because, I mean, imagine you get all bounty hunted and it's not even the thing you committed. It's just a way overstepping boundaries. And then all of a sudden, dog shows up. Bear maces your ass. Yeah. God. Dog. Yo. That show. <laughs> this is gross. Hey, so you also mentioned in here, though, that there was um, this, wait for it, uh, online game developer gambled away investors' money. Yeah, yeah we yeah we got oh, we we, that one earlier. We rolled around on that one already. Yeah. There was one I was trying to bring up, but my, my, my notes aren't loading. Um, this Harvard astronomer is really, like, pushing the idea specifically about, like, Oh, I got it. Alien spacecraft around Jupiter. Specifically Jupiter. Just because oh. there's, like, weird activity, I guess, there. There's 27 moons. Yeah, I mean, no, one of them's got to have... There's, um, there's a lot of moons. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know exactly, no. Yeah. Jupiter's got a hell of a lot of moons and one hell of a werewolf problem. <laughs> <laughs> werewolf every day. And well, they call it the werewolf planet. <laughs> that they do. <laughs> Who calls it that? I'm not saying I do. I'm just saying they do. You know, I know there are people that do. Oh, man, the view of the werewolf planet tonight is just... Mm. I wouldn't mind checking out some of the moons, but I hear it's a little bit dangerous there on the planet's surface. Yeah, you just got to dodge the giant-ass eternal storm. <laughs> yeah, and the werewolves. Yeah. <laughs> Some of these moons, though, they have lots of liquid water, lots of the the band of conditions at which it seems that single cellular life uh, spawned quite uh, natural is able to spawn quite naturally. Right. Yeah. The more we look into our own spawning, the more the timelines reveal this just giant span of time where Earth was only single cell. Right. It wasn't until the eukaryotes, where one type of cell got this um, relationship with another the type of cell that of became connection introduction of amino acids yeah that became the nucleus organisms, right so uh, until the that kind of big step was carbon the introduction of carbon mm -hmm. which was the first stage of plant life and algae and and single cell organisms and at some point the earth heated again probably due to a large impact or some of that reason which basically created that level of carbon in the soil which it counteracted and with all of the symptoms to create complex life yeah and so we didn't have multicellular life mm -hmm. without teamwork right. and the first teamwork we ever saw was mm -hmm. the the symbiotic relationship between the two types of cells that became eukaryote cells and now that's most life is eukaryotes there's very few things that's very, are, that are prekaryote like bacteria is a prekaryote that's Plants. like one of the only things mm -hmm. Plants are eukaryotes, we're eukaryotes. And the, that teamwork, I like to think, like led to teamwork between cells, that led to specialization of labor, which we see in the economy, that led us to evolve into what we are now. I, I'd like Complex to see that happen right. on like a macro level with society, because it's what made life be what it is on this planet, that we just don't see life on this, uh, this level of organization on anything we've discovered so far. But a handful of little... Like uh, little single cell fellows we might see around Jupiter. So, so, so I'm just curious. Would you be in favor of being tested for what you're you're qualified at as division of labor? Like you're, you know, like the whole uh, Fry and uh, in Futurama debate. <laughs> oh yeah, we do that now though. At a certain, you know, a certain it, point, that happens you're, to you. You're, you're a delivery driver. Like, damn. You know what I mean? Like, I love delivery driving, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't think that's... I think that's... People should be able to excel behind choose, that, beyond choose that. Choose what they want. But, I mean, we have that, and we have, mm. uh, then we have these moles, and we chop them off. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind that, because I... The whole... Con like, I just hate the whole concept of work. Um, so to have a little yeah. help getting into something that fits you anyway. Yeah. Like, if it fits you. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> no, like legit. If I could have, if I could have a job where I sat in front of a computer and just like did data entry all day. Right. 
like I like doing simp like repetitive stuff like that that just takes focus. But if it's stuff where I have to think about at work, I'm like, I don't I don't want to do this. Right, the, like, the, 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 no, it's like, like who the, the fuck wants of, to think? The least amount of creativity is possible. Yeah, because I want to save all those juices for other times. I just want to put on uh, my 106.5 radio channel. Listen to or listen to soft rock and uh, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and uh, just do repetitive stuff all day long. No, and uh, listen to, to repetitive radio, music. You see, this is why we listen to Radio Vegas. Vegas dot com dot rocks. rocks. Yep, because <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll leave the the guys who showed us <laughs> because uh, we want to be creative. We want to live our lives. We don't want to do repetitive stuff. Yeah, now, or, it's, now. It's, it's, it's nice to get that repetitive meditative stuff out. Get paid with that. And then entertain you all while you're doing your repetitive thing. Yeah. But if, on the treadmill or? if we did get assigned jobs, what do you guys think you would be assigned? Here's a fun question. Yeah. I would be assigned. Um, you know when, like, there's an airplane that breaks, and uh, someone has to climb in to like a weird part of the engine, and then. Uh, that they get all hot and it, it sucks for them, but like someone's got to bring them like a nice beverage. I'd be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> like how you twisted that. <laughs> like a plane crash water boy. Yeah. Okay. Like plane repair, like the people that repair the planes. Right. I'll just like, I know exactly the right tool to hand them. Right. <laughs> plane repair support. Yeah. I don't make as much as them, but like, there's no lives depending on me giving them the right tool. Right. I have got no guilt with that. I don't know. There might be a life with him if you give him the wrong chili dog. Shh. Maybe. Yeah. I, I was just, I was like, is is professional curmudgeon? Is that a job? <laughs> I would totally be that. But then I the, thought, wait, I could just be a critic. Yeah. What am I fucking doing with right, my life? Right. Yeah. There's a there's oh, a man. term for that. Yeah, yeah. It's critic. Yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> is there any last things we want to criticize before we put a bow on it? Um. No, I, I, I always like to throw some media recommendations in once in a while. Yes. But I started checking out this uh, new Netflix, or it's actually a National Geographic documentary, but it's on Netflix called One Strange Rock, mm -hmm. I think. And yeah. it's, but it's fucking cool. It's like directed by Darren Aronofsky, mm -hmm. and it has Will Smith uh, doing like the narration and little it's interview kinda, parts. It's kind of like a, hip, a hipper cosmos yeah yeah it's it's just got it's kind of like um it's very very um it's very kind of dumb dumbed down oh, yeah man. i think it's a little like cosmos i think is a lot more science based like beekman's world you guys remember beekman's yeah. world yeah but this is well this is I kinda, cool i think it was after i got out of cartoons uh, like yeah little, but this is uh this this one is what i like about this one that's interesting about it is their uh kind of like interlaced through interviews with uh, the different astronauts yeah, um, yeah. which is kind of interesting to get their perspective on it right. which i think is the reason the show was created right yeah yeah because uh, they're taking like what the astronaut because the astronaut each specializes in their own field and then they kind of yeah like the astronaut takes the place of the ship of creation in yeah the yeah but it's like a, 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 a literary tool yeah but like darren aronofsky directing it makes it really weird and the, the soundtrack is really kind of tripping me out i was like this this is kind of a weird yeah. weird documentary show but it's it's, right. a, it's enjoyable it was it was enjoyable i yeah. don't say that it just like i said i mean it was it was more for um more for your average yeah and person. it like if you've seen shows like that before right. you right. probably have seen a lot of the stuff they talk right. about right. but I it's mean, like it's always cool to get a different right. perspective so who's, who's the critic now <laughs> yeah exactly um but uh, that one's that one's all right yeah I saw one the, the other day, uh, another one, different one. What was it? It was a... Uh, oh, shit. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you can post a link below to your media recommendation. But now it's time that I'm afraid we have to say goodbye. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, one more on the outro. Malibu Ken. Malibu Ken. Yeah, just check it out. Check out Malibu Ken. Yeah. Also, check out not only Kicker headphones, but all Kicker personal audio products. There's this bullfrog speaker here. You notice this lid makes it nice and water resistant. You can dip it in the pool. You can charge your phone from it. You can see, look at these freaking drivers in this thing. Big old speakers in it. It's ugh, just beat this thing up. And we have, we've used it to bludgeon um, intruders. So keep that close to your hearts. Tell your friends, tell everyone, tell the sponsors, RadioVegas.rock sent you. And 
you know, help us all learn and grow together with your suggestions and oh. ideas and all those things. Yeah. 